We got this when we went to see 2001 A Space Odyssey in Contois Auditorium. That was pretty fun. It was very nice. The roads are surprising. Well, we live in Essex, but the roads are surprisingly not... The roads are surprisingly not as busy. Well, I'm not... That road, I'm not surprised at all. Where, where is anyone going on that road? We'll see. Shovel Road is a good test. All right, are we ready? Yes. Let's do it. It is 11.34. We're going. I don't think it's too late. No. If we're taking this back way, we should be, we should be okay. We should only get not going to miss it. I know, it's very warm out. Wrapping, Tavity TV. I think the mic's still in here. Yep, it is. Oh, is this a sign? Was that, a, was that a sign? Uh, no. I'm gonna hope that it's not. I hope no one is doing anything stupid. But I bet they are. I'm very curious to see how traffic is. So far, normal roads for a Monday midday at the apartment. It's interesting though because maybe it is seem like a little bit more traffic than like a Monday, normal Monday. But at the same time, like Nah. I don't really know. I think a lot of people probably also did not get the day off. I think that that is true. I did see a lot of people talking about that on the internet, like being like, oh my god, I get out of work at like right around the eclipse time, like Eclipse traffic today. <laughs> the really roads are really, um, really screwed. I don't think we're gonna get to where we're going. I'm no, scared. The clouds are. There is cloud. Yep. It's there's a little, clouds. It's a little hazy. I don't. I kept. For, I forgot to look at the sky. I'm a little nervous. I. I, mean, I don't think that's like gonna block anything. I hope not. Where is the sun? Oh, gas price. What's gas? 331. Let's chronicle that. It's 331. The year is 2024. April. To people watching this in 2086, where gas has been outlawed and everyone uses nuclear power teleport. Hydro. Hydro power. Hydro power brain scanners. Yep. So we're getting to where we're going to start taking back roads here. It's barely a back road. Alright, what time is it? It's 11.43. It's 11.43. We are... Is this Essex still? No, this is Colchester. Uh, what is this? Is this South Burlington? We might even be entering South Burlington now. I, I think we're still in Colchester right now, but we're going to be getting into South Carolina. I haven't really seen, oh, I was going to say, I haven't really seen any out-of-state plates as somebody from Maryland drives by. But just, for the most part. Just because they're out-of-state. They could live them. here. Yeah, they, they could be a college them. student. What is this? Is this an airfield? It's an airport, yeah. So we're in South Carolina now. I know the air the airport was planning on doing some 
activities. There's a lot of places around town. No, I don't know about that, but just viewing the eclipse from their field. Be pretty cool. Viewing it from the roof of the airport would probably be pretty cool. Yeah, be I. You know, there's a couple of places that seem like it would be interesting, like you know, um, viewing it from the Ticonderoga. Shelburne yeah. Museum yeah. is holding a. You had to buy tickets like five years ago, but like a mountaintop would be great. A mountaintop would be great. Jordan, would you like to tell the people our original plan? Because I can tell that he is... I'm so upset. He is upset. I'm not upset at all. So we're, we were... I, I really want to see it from a mountaintop. Um, so we had a plan, but I didn't want to go up Mount Mansfield or all that because I was like, everybody's going to be there. So I found this little hill called... Well, not really a hill. It was like a good-sized mountainy thing in, called Minister Hill in Franklin, Vermont. Like we're gonna go up there, we're gonna climb this hill, and we're gonna watch it that way. But then there were I heard some some protests which do make some sense that we had never been there, we don't know what we're gonna find, and then we just got a bunch of snow and thinking it's probably gonna be muddy. And a lot of the mountains are actually closed too. A lot of the mountains are closed anyways, so that wouldn't have even worked. I'm sure there are people who climbed anyways. Oh yeah. And um and then my family's coming up to be, you know. South Burlington to watch it, so it's like, why would we climb up a mountain, climb up a muddy mountain, not knowing what the hell we're going to find, instead just, you know, being in South Burlington with my family. It made more sense, so I'm not upset about it. I think this is better, so we'll still get to watch the eclipse from across the lake, which will be pretty cool, unless the sun totally screws us. Um, Not the sun, the clouds. The sun is also involved in that. <laughs> these clouds, like we were saying, they do look quite like... Well, the sun's that way right now, behind us. Let's yep. see if it's... Because uh, we can look at the sun with our glasses, right? Like say, even non-eclipsed. Say that again? We can look at the sun. Yeah, you can see the sun through the glasses. Through the glasses. Even That's if the only thing that you can see through the glasses. Yeah, so we can see if... We were doing like, that the other day really at work. Obscure if it's really messing it up. Because maybe, because there's clouds, we could probably still see it. I imagine the sun is bright enough to go through these clouds. I think so. Getting a little bit more traffic here. Let's see, is this road? No, this is honestly... This is like normal traffic, yeah, there's though. Nothing, there's nothing that abnormal here. Um, we're by Al's French fries. Kind of. That's the back road that we take to get there. There's Market Street. Oh, this fella's going down Market Street. They probably have some events going on there. They do. I think they were doing some uh, events at the South Burlington City Hall as well. All sorts of places are having events, ticketed events. and yep. the, Most of the traffic is going to be on the way home. Yeah because a lot of people have kind of trickled in over the past couple of days. Um, you should have seen Church Street. I'll put some pictures in of Church Street yesterday. Um, we weren't there personally, but I saw a bunch of pictures on the internet. Um, I'd like to... I would like to see Burlington and Church Street as it is today, but there's just no way of doing that. You, we wouldn't be able to park. There'd yeah, be nowhere no, to go, no, so... Really, there's no way of doing that. Yeah, a lot of locals. I mean, the official messaging has been to stay home, stay off the roads. Yep. And I know some people have been upset about that because it's like, why do I need to stay home and not enjoy the eclipse the way that I want to so that the tourists can come? I want to do whatever I want to do. And I get it. I no mean, they're, they're going to be spending money, but I am very curious to see, like, the like I mean I went to the park yesterday in Essex it was muddy so I know that Waterfront Park is muddy they're gonna destroy Waterfront Park I think Waterfront Park's gonna be destroyed yeah I'm very curious to see the aftermath of that um I wonder if North Beach is probably gonna get destroyed is that open? well all of the I don't know about North Beach but like Oak Ledge Letty Roosevelt um Perkins Pier those are all official viewing sites so oh Battery Park too so I'm very curious to see what goes on so with that. North Beach isn't an official viewing site? Not that I'm aware of. They're trying to save North Beach. Save North Beach. They know what's going to happen. Not too much traffic. No. There's... I... I have, are we in a... Uh, is this a boy 
fried wolf situation. I know. Uh, some people were saying, like, I think we really overstated the numbers, but I, I really think we're going to see... I think we're going to really see it coming home. Everybody trying to leave at the same time. Well, Church Street looked... I mean, those pictures... Church Street was Church packed. Street. Church Street hasn't been that packed in a long time. No, so that that's... We got a lot of folks out walking, cool. enjoying the beautiful day. There's a lot of people out walking. You gotta go around it, buddy. They're crossing. Oh, you can hear it. You can hear them. Can you see them from the crossing right here? On the other side. So we, this is the eclipse traffic. <laughs> There's turkeys in the road. They, this is the eclipse traffic everybody was talking about. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. Wow. Wow, they really don't want to go. Yeah, you got to push through here, buddy. Let me get real close to them. Some beautiful turkeys. I think the tom is still right in the middle of the road. Yeah, it is. There he goes. Oh my god, look at him. Is he big? He's huge. Oh my god. Oh, he is ginormous. Oh, he is gorgeous. Yeah, let's get a nice little... This is the eclipse traffic. They warned it. Whoa! No way! Oh hey, my hey, god! That was awesome! Are you kidding me? You got a good shot of him? Yeah. <laughs> so, Jordan, what just happened? We were just stopped by a by a, a <laughs> gaggle of demons in the road. <laughs> Some beautiful turkeys. Beautiful oh, turkeys. careful! We got a dead animal on the road now. What is happening? Okay, we're approaching. We are approaching are Shelburne just Road. The highway, dude. This is nothing. We didn't know. Yeah, there's like nobody here. This is oh my god, this is like nobody going. Yeah, this is um, so where's all these 300,000 people they were telling us about? They're already here. They got me looking like a liar. This is Shelburne Road for anybody who's curious. Route 7. At this rate, I want to go into town. You do? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess you can see traffic. Yeah, there's definitely there. traffic up there. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. We have arrived. We're here. We're gonna go. we're gonna go see the fam. Hi. Oh my goodness. So handsome. And Maisie Bell, Toby and Maisie. Oh, hi. Hi, honeys. Okay. It starts at 2.14 to 4.37. And totality will be at 3.26 to 3.29. And you... And you said animals could be acting weird? Yes, that's what they that's what they always say. And we may hear Okay, there you go. Owls, we may see bats. Crickets, maybe even? Maybe. <laughs> maybe these animals will act weird. Maisie, are you yeah, I bet weird? they would. Are you gonna do some weird stuff? You're blind and deaf, so you won't be able to tell. No, she will. <laughs> she'll be able to sense it. Yeah, she'll feel it. Mm -hmm. Toby will act weird, and Frodo will definitely act weird. Yeah. How lucky are we? We're going at clear skies 17% of the time since the year 2000. Right. Much of the rest of the country in the path of totality is looking I just far. saw Frodo. Here's the current clock. <laughs> 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 the 
Bessie, do you want some lunch? Do you want a sandwich of some sort? It's 1230. Um, you got stuff, right? So if I do, I'll just make one? Yes. And Carolyn, you as well. What? If you'd like something to say. I've not seen Burlington this busy just as the sun came up. So we got the chance to speak to some folks that came from near and far to see why they came to the Green Mountain State to watch this once in a lifetime experience. The solar eclipse is just a few hours away. And for many visitors, the planning has been months and even years in the eclipse in South Carolina. And loved it so much, they're chasing another one. Something different you'll never see anywhere else, you know what I mean? So it's just very interesting. So if you live in Burlington and watch That's it, nobody. That's, yeah, that's, that's really less than 4th of July fireworks. Yeah, it is. Is, is. it is. But it might be different. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, wondering if more people will check away from their hotels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. How a lot of visibility. As you can see, it's pretty bright and shiny here in Indianapolis right now. We're hoping that that will last throughout the day. Other places like Dallas, Texas, Buffalo, New York, not so lucky, but much. All right, we're going to do something. Okay. You can't be wrong. We're going to the traffic. We're going to find the people. It's... Where are we heading? We are going to go into the belly of the beast and try to see people because there's no traffic anywhere. It's totally been blown out of proportion. We're going to try and see if we can see anybody. I'm very curious to see what type of traffic we'll run into. And so it's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. Yep. And we have an hour and 15 minutes. I'm not gonna get us stuck in anything here. Before the sun, the moon starts to. My main plan is just to go maybe to hit the roundabout and just go around the roundabout. Yep. See if we see. Yes. Just as like a test and just see what happens. And I'm it wondering. Was it was about this traffic when we went to the store this morning. And you went to Hannaford's, which is like, what, do you, what would you say? That's like a couple yeah. miles down the road? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is also before, turn your window up a little bit? This is also before the highway exit. Yeah. So I'm going to, we'll look at the highway exit. If that looks crazy, I'm just going to go down the spear instead of getting stuck. Oh, but that's a good idea. But if it doesn't look too bad... Then I'll go down and we'll. Whoa! You just—I just, I just saw road. that. These aren't Vermonters here. They drive different. <laughs> they certainly do. Here we're starting to back up. We're starting to get some traffic here. Oh yep. Right, I'm gonna get into the right lane just in case I do have to flip over to Spear. It's not that crazy. I've only seen two Vermont license plates since we left the house. <laughs> I know it's very disproportionate. It is. There are definitely other people around. This is just so late to be coming up for the eclipse, you know? You but can definitely see the road rage happening from Vermonters. Oh, getting, God, Getting yes. frustrated. Getting frustrated, and I understand that. What do we got? Bagel Bakery is about the deadest I've ever seen it. This Bagel Bakery is dead. Oh, wow. Because I was thinking of doing that this morning, and mm -hmm. I was like... Everything's probably gonna be packed. Uh, do I want to pop over here? I am going to pop over. And we're just gonna do it. We got time, and this doesn't look that bad. Yeah, we'll we'll go into the roundabout at least. Maybe even past Champlain. I don't know. I feel like if we go past Champlain, we're starting to man, we're starting to test our limits. Oh yeah, I see some. Look, look at how clear the highway is. Yeah. Oh, well, that's the spur, but anyways. This is how people get off, though. In Mazatlan, Mexico, the moon is just starting to go over the sun. Okay. So it's so, starting. <laughs> so it's in Mexico. Yeah. And now we have, what, we're about a little less than an hour, or a little more than an hour, until we start to see it. Yep. Yeah. And I have, um... Oh, yeah, we, we've got some... We're starting to get a little bit here. We're I clicked right on... Here. Whoops. I clicked on my, um... I have a, I have a live NASA app that and, I'm 
oh, watching. Really? Wow. Okay. Or having on. <laughs> and they're they're talking about the eclipse. Oh yeah, everything about the eclipse. Sorry guys, I know I'm in your. I know I'm in your crosswalk here. Now they're in Carryville, Texas. Um, I'm so obsessed. And yes, Texas does have some clouds. I, so they, for a while they were saying that Vermont was going to be the best weather, but now we, you know, we're experiencing some clouds too. I mean, but yeah. we're still overall we're pretty clear. We got some wispies up there. We do have yeah. some wispies. Well, that's what they said. Some high level clouds, but they wouldn't interfere with being able to see the eclipse. There's yeah. nobody here. Oh my God! There was no traffic. It's really empty. What do you got going on back there? Um, NASA. Uh, NASA. Look at all these bikers. Um, try. It's a great day for bikers in Burlington. There's literally nobody around here. No, there isn't. This is ridiculous. Oh, here comes my old college. Champlain? Yeah. Mine too. Mine too. <laughs> they did a very, very bad thing. They put a girl's dorm next to a UVM frat. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, here we go. We got some people. Oh, yep. That's just people walking around. People are definitely avoiding cars as much as they can, huh? That's pretty much what I did for the years in college. I am going to turn around Maple. Well, just remember that Maple and Church are yeah. closed for construction. Maybe I'll go down Union and go around that way. That's a tour. There's a tour going on right now. Oh, wow. Hmm. Ooh, there's a Champlain College bus. We didn't have that when I was there. This is my old dorm right here. Oh, nice. McDonald. And then Valcor right next to it. Yeah. It's, of course, when I was here. Parking enforcement. It was. Jaywalking. Nice. It was 1987. Oh, yeah. So some things have definitely changed it, since oh, then. Yeah. I hope a lot has changed. Well, you got somebody with balloons on their bike here. Is there, I have, is there a closure down there? That looks like you can go straight. Looks like the they reopened yeah. it, I guess. Um, and I have a friend do. on Facebook um, that I went to Champlain with, mm -hmm. and we're still in touch. Do they live around here or somewhere else? No. Well, she was from Long Island, and couple years ago she moved to Georgia um. oh there's a little kid on the bike yes they got you gotta be careful with them yeah I'm gonna just slow, I'm gonna give them slow. Oh, that's a good idea though oh my god um, to have the balloons much more visible than just a kid oh you can tell that they reopened this literally just for this because look at the yeah. road I know. I was going to say that. This doesn't look... Okay, so this part of Church Street is closed. So I'm going to go around you here. And here's my other old apartment right here. <laughs> yeah, I, pro Saint I really would have been better off. Pine might be a problem. I might do St. Paul. What do you think? Go down to Pine? Oh, you can see a bunch of people at Perkins. Oh, cool. We're gonna go to Pine. <laughs> I can't zoom in that far, but there's a bunch of people at Perkins Pier. Whoa! See them all, hon? that! Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. This is definitely not as crowded as I was expecting it to be. I mean, no. there's people walking around, that but... There's a lot of people, though. There are a lot of people at Perkins. Yeah. Yeah, I probably would have been the best off this is living we're here. Though. This is gonna be all these people. Yep. That makes sense. Um, and then we might get stuck and so nope, not a thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people though. 
Yeah, there are a lot of people. There's just no traffic. People heeded everyone's warnings pretty extreme. Well, there is a parking lot somewhere on Pine. So that's probably where these people are all walking from. Yeah, there, yeah the parking lot, the parking garage in Pine. I was so bummed when they closed that because that's where I parked for everything. Where on Pine was that? Oh, look, they're selling merch there. Um, attached. Oh, yeah. I might have Look, to is that a trolley? Yes, that's a trolley. I have one of these that does go around. I've... Yeah, they have tons of those in Salem. I know. I'll probably... I should line. get... A, Old bus stop. I should get a t-shirt on Amazon, because I don't think we'll... More merch? Get close enough. That's an artist. See, look at all these people walking. I wonder if they're going there. Because we've got people walking down. Yeah. It's weird. A lot more people around than cars. Yeah. Yes. Which I was expecting more cars, to be honest with you. Yeah. Me too. I didn't know how we were going to get well, to the store this morning. All the locals are not driving. Yeah. And then all the tourists are already here. Jordan, what is your take on that? Um, so traffic non-existent, a lot of people like walking around and biking, and it did look like Perkins Pier was pretty well, pretty, a lot of people, and once we were getting close to there, there's definitely like stuff going on, but clearly the, the traffic concerns were overblown, um, probably my guess is because locals are hunkering down or only walking and then the tourists are already here, that would be my guess. But we're almost back home, and now it's what? It is 121. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to get that on the camera. But it's 121. That was like a 20-minute drive. We didn't get stuck in traffic at all. Nope. We are almost home. And, I mean, I think it was worth it. To, like, we got to see a little bit of the Perkins Pier crowd. Yeah. But I was expecting more cars. I was expecting more people. Yep, so was I. I was what? expecting an actual horde of humans, but that's not how this has been at all. Can you see me? Yes. We are tuning in live from the Butterfield household. Sure. I can, like, set it up, though. As you can see, the crowds are huge. There's a bunch of people here. And we will be reporting live from the scene before, during, and after the eclipse. So, stay tuned. Mr. Frodo, how do you feel about the eclipse? Can you tell us, you know, are you excited? What are you looking forward to? Frodo, are you there? Can you tell us what you're feeling? I think he's excited. Frodo. Frodo, you know, wants to go outside. Can you tell us how you feel about the eclipse, mister? Are you excited? He might even be a little scared. Are you? <laughs> he looks terrified. All right, well, thank you for your time, sir. We really appreciate it, and we hope you enjoy the eclipse. Frobo. Wait, you talk and talk and talk, and then you put a microphone in front of his face, and he's camera shy. Yes. Buddy, are you excited for the eclipse? Can you tell us a little bit about it? <laughs> so, we're here on Monday, April 8th, 2024, before, we're like an hour before the eclipse actually starts. Who am I here with? Shelly Butterfield. And um, for some reason, I thought Bob was just whispering, and I thought it was Jordan. <laughs> um, so, Shelly, this is Jordan's mother, Jordan's lovely mother. Um, we're here at your house, and um, this wasn't our original plan. And how do you feel that we're here today? Oh, I'm, I'm thrilled that you're here today. This is where I wanted you to be all <laughs> along. And it terrified me that you were going to go up to some mountain somewhere and be, be not be safe. So I'm, I'm thrilled you're here. 
I, I'm also thrilled. Um, though the trip that we just took into town, it, there was like no traffic. So I'm kind of shocked by that. But I do think, and I was saying this to him, I think that leaving is going to be um, a, a different story. But let's, uh, you know, in terms of the eclipse, are you excited for it? Um, yes and no. Yes and no. I, I don't, I've never seen one. I don't know how it's going to be. It doesn't, it seems like it's gotten a lot of hype and I hope it's up to the hype. Now looking right now, I'd say there's like some wispy clouds, but other than that, it's pretty clear. So it's pretty clear. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get to see the real deal. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping to be excited about it when I see it. I'm not right now, but I will be. <laughs> I think when we start to see the moon come across, Maybe. that might that might help a little bit. Yeah, I I share a similar sentiment that you um, said earlier in that um, you're ready for this to all be over with. I'm very ready for all the hype to be over with and everybody to just calm down and let's <laughs> let's just live our normal lives in spring and and not have all this hoopla. All right, who am I here with? I'm Betsy Butterfield Lynch. I'm Jordan's aunt and Bob's sister. Now, so you guys, um, and we'll interview Carolyn in a moment here, but you guys um, traveled all the way up from Massachusetts to see the eclipse up here. Yes, we did. We live in Manchester, Mass, which is on Cape Ann, north of Boston. And we love coming up here anyway to see our family. So we decided we would definitely come for the eclipse. Now, have you ever seen an eclipse before? I have. Uh, when I was about early 20s, there was one in Boston. And I was living in Boston. I remember going up on the roof uh, in the back bay of somebody's apartment. I have no idea. We were up on the roof. And um, I remember being there. So it must have been, I think it was rather spectacular, but it happened. And then we went home. But you know, I'm. That's probably about 60 years mm -hmm. ago, yep. and I still remember it. So, are you looking forward to seeing the eclipse today? Yes, I hope I can see it through my glasses. I've, I'm always worried about people losing their eyesight since yeah. that's such a precious thing. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm glad I came, mostly to see family, but it's an event. So it's fun to participate in an event. Absolutely. And, and did you, so you, what, what day did you guys come up and did you experience any traffic? We came up on Wednesday. Monday, Saturday, Sunday or Saturday. Monday? <laughs> I don't even know what day. Yeah. Oh, today's Monday. Today's Monday. Today's the day of the eclipse. We came up on Saturday um, from the Boston area and we noticed when we went to the Hooks at Rest area, on our way up, it was very crowded. Um, so we thought, oh, the roads might be terrible, but the roads were really okay. It was just those people all gathered in that spot. Mm -hmm. I think the traffic coming up to Vermont was a little heavier than usual, but not bad. And then we got off in Richmond instead of coming right into Burlington on the throughway. That worked well. Yeah, I think, well, we've been taking the back roads these past couple of days and I mean, like we just took a trip into town and it wasn't that busy, but I think taking the back roads at all is the best bet, especially with people leaving. And now you're going to stay until like Wednesday, you said, yes. which I think, I think is pretty smart because you'll miss all the stragglers going home. Oh. <laughs> yes. Anything else you want to add? Um, no, looking forward to it. Uh, glad to see it with family and I guess that's it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Betsy. You're welcome. So who am I here with? Carolyn Lynch. And you are Jordan's? Cousin. First cousin. And so um, we just heard a little bit from Betsy, but you guys came all the way up from Massachusetts to yep. see the eclipse, but also to see family. Yep, exactly. And we planned this months ago. <laughs> Which I think was smart because, you know, I've been seeing a lot of stuff online of people last minute trying to say, oh, what, what am I going to do? I want to come up to Burlington. And months ago was definitely the way to go. Yeah. I think I called Shelly like January. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, now, 
from what I've heard, you have listened to many podcasts about the eclipse, so you're prepared. Yes, I usually listen to science podcasts and NASA TV, so yes, I I have worked my way up to the eclipse. So can you tell us a little bit about what we can expect as the moon comes across the sun? Um, I've only seen a partial eclipse, but I am really excited about totality and the different pieces of light you can see around the sun. Now, I heard you talk about it a little bit yesterday. Those are like Bailey's beads and something yep. else? Uh, Bailey's beads and the diamond ring. When it's been full, like the total eclipse, and then it just slowly starts, you can see just one bright spot. And that'll be, that's called the diamond ring. And you were saying something about how, like, the animals might even act differently when it's in full totality. Oh, yeah. Animals, you will see a change. Um, I hope the dogs don't flip out. <laughs> um, but I was listening to one yesterday, and they said you may see bats because they think it's nighttime, and you may see owls because they think it's, well, not see owls, but hear owls hooting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that myself to see what happens around here. But so you said you've seen a partial eclipse, but not a total solar eclipse. Are you excited? Quite. <laughs> <laughs> I am, um, I, you know, I couldn't really ask for, I mean, you could have a completely blue sky, but compared to how the weather usually is in Vermont in April, this is about perfect, so. This is perfect. And sitting in the sun, you're even nice and warm. Mm -hmm. out, of the, out of the wind. So, Carolyn, is there anything else you'd like to add um, to document before you see the eclipse? I think there are very few things in my life that I've been more excited to see than the eclipse. I've watched them on many TV shows and documentaries, and I, and I always think, oh, that would be amazing, but I don't think it'll ever happen here. So yes, I'm excited. And now we get to see it ourselves, so yay! All right, cool, thank you, Carolyn. You're very welcome. Who am I here with? Uh, Bob Butterfield. And this is Jordan's father. That is correct. <laughs> And so we're here at your house today, and um, my first question for you is, have you ever seen an eclipse before? I have. I think it was about 1962. Do you remember where you were? I was in our front yard on uh, Adsit Court in Burlington, and uh, I had set up a little uh, pinhole and uh, cardboard to look at it because we, I don't think they had the uh, fancy glasses then. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so that's what I did and it worked, but I think it'll be much more exciting to be able to look at it. So you're looking forward to it this time around as well? I am, and this is a full eclipse. The, that was a partial, I mean, it was pretty, uh, most of the uh, moon, you know, went in front, but it wasn't total. Now, you were originally supposed to have band practice today in Burlington, and that was canceled. Was it because of the eclipse? Uh, not exactly, but I think everybody <laughs> breathed a sigh of relief because we knew it was going to be a madhouse down there. And so, yeah, I mean, everybody's, <laughs> everybody's happy that we had the chance to, because I wouldn't have been able to be here with you guys mm -hmm. probably, so... I know I was definitely relieved when I heard that you weren't going down into Burlington during this whole, the craziness of the eclipse. And I mean, like like I've been saying, we just drove down there and it was passable. There was no traffic, really. There's a lot of people on the side of the roads. But I think trying to uh, leave the band practice yeah. would have been a nightmare. Yeah, so. yeah most of, that's going to be crazy. Have you, did you hear a lot of hype about um, the eclipse happening in Burlington? Oh yeah, <laughs> no. You know, it's been on the on the local news for a long time, and 
you know, months before uh, about all the people who were trying to book rooms here. And, you know, I think a long time ago it was totally booked. So, uh, yeah, it's been a big, big thing. And I think it's been a big economic boost from the looks of it. And it looks like uh, throughout the, the path of the eclipse, it looks like it uh, might be a good, very good thing economically as well. Well, Bob, anything else you want to add before we, we're, you know, we're about 20 minutes before the moon we're starts to. We're getting close. We're getting close. Uh, I don't really think so. I'm just, I, I will be curious to see uh, the birds and anything with the wildlife, if that, you know, their behavior changes there. But uh, other than that, I'm just looking forward to it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Bob. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, Toby, can you tell us how you feel about the eclipse? It smells. <laughs> he cannot eat the sun, so thus he does not care. And neither does Maisie. Not yet, we'll see. I don't know, we'll be curious to see what how they react. We we think that Frodo is gonna have some reactions. So who am I here with? I'm Jordan Butterfield. And Jordan Butterfield, where are we right now? We are at uh, my parents' house in South Burlington near the lake. And why are we here? We're here to see the total eclipse of the sun. The total eclipse of the heart? Yes. No. <laughs> no, the heart is always clear. The heart is always clear and shining. Uh, so... Um, what did you say? Can uh, we start over? <laughs> um, We're going to start over. Start no, 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 I don't think we should. I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're like 15 minutes out from the, is that close? I, I think so. Let's see. What time is it? What time is it, Carolyn? Yeah, it's 159. So we're about, yeah, we're literally like 15 minutes away from it starting yep. here. The total, so the totality is not until 320 ish, mm -hmm. 326. So we have a little bit of time, but I'm very curious to see like what happens. And oh, I, I want to see I want to. I remember when it happened. When we had, it wasn't really a partial eclipse here, but an eclipse was going on, and the sun did change a little bit, like seven years ago. You could tell that something weird was going on. So I'm expecting that, but just like times ten for the next chunk, and then we'll go to the total, the total eclipse, and dogs are gonna freak out, animals are gonna freak out. It'll be interesting. I will freak out. I'm gonna lose my mind. I might go crazy. So needless to say, you're excited then. I'm, I'm, it's a cosmic event. It's a celestial event. This is the, our opportunity to, to perceive the size of the universe. It's pretty cool. And are you expecting to have a spiritual experience? I am expecting to see Jesus Christ. And, uh, I think I'm going to be changed. Now, I, we already, <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. Um, do me dirty. <laughs> so, um, we already kind of said this before, um, when we were driving, but this wasn't our original plan. No. Well, the original plan was, uh, to go up a mountain in Franklin, Vermont. It was like a small mountain trying to find something that was out of the way. But then we were like, oh, well, in our minds, we were with all the reports, it was like, oh, the, the roads are going to be packed completely and there's going to be no travel as possible. It's going to be apocalyptic. And then we were worried it was going to be muddy and we didn't know what we were going to find there. I mean, it probably is muddy, but I, I am sure that we would have had absolutely no problem getting up there. But this is much better anyways. We're here with our family. Family's coming up. We get to watch it across the lake. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be fun. This is the better way to do it. I, I have to agree with you. Um, anything else you want to add? Um, I love CCTV and, to, and local democracy. I can't, I can't get going in the morning without my local democracy. Thank you. You're do you want to interview me now? Yeah. I was just going to say that. <laughs> Should we switch places? Should we switch seats? <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's do it. We'll be there in a moment, yeah. I'm here with active fugitive Emily Brewer, 
Um, she's being hunted by the U.S. Marshals as we speak, but she's taking the moment to speak with us now. Uh, Emily, uh, what did you do? I said that I was going to look at the eclipse without my eclipse glasses on. Illegal. Deeply illegal. Federal uh, crime. <laughs> What, what, uh, okay, so you're Emily Brewer. I am Emily Brewer, yes. Hi. Hi. Um, what are we doing here today? Why are we here? So we are at the Butterfield Residence in South Burlington um, to view the eclipse, the total eclipse, that um, supposedly will not happen again until, I don't know what year, somewhere, some year distant. 20, 20, 2044? Where is it going to be in 2044? I'm wondering where, yeah, I mean, here, probably not for hundreds of years within, or our, within our lifetime. But maybe in 2024, we can be eclipse chasers and bring the whole family out. I don't know about that. We can do that. I think that this is probably our one opportunity. Could be. What about uh, preparations for this? What did you, uh, what were your preparations for this day? Um, I actually didn't do as much research about it as I probably should have. I, cause for a long time they were predicting like clouds and bad weather. So I was kind of just like a little nonchalant about it. Like, oh, we're probably not even going to be able to see it. So I like didn't do as much, um, preparation as I probably would have. Um, but it's a beautiful day. I mean, there's barely any clouds. We're definitely going to be able to see it. I'm a little nervous. I did see a TikTok video about, um, watching it with glasses that are either counterfeit or um, damaged and ruining your eyesight. So we'll see if I come away with a permanent scar on my retina. Um, but I think that, I think that I'll be okay. Um, I think we might be, I think we're okay. Well, we can double up on our glasses. Yeah, just for extra protection. Um, but I did bring snacks. I brought a lot of food. Um, I do think that we're gonna be here at your parents' house um, till pretty late tonight, um, to avoid the traffic of everybody leaving. Um, cause I do think that the traffic is going to be really bad, um, immediately following the eclipse. What effect do you think the eclipse will have on the legislature? You know, I think that this will be, um, a really important moment for them. I think that half of the legislature will resign after seeing the beauty of the eclipse and realizing that their lives don't matter or mean anything. And then I think the other half will just become more powerful. I think that they'll double down and um, really um, be more passionate about what they have to say. Well, Emily, this is great. I hope that the U.S. Marshals don't find you anytime soon. And, uh, will you ask me if I'm excited? No. All right, thank you for, no. Are, are you excited, Emily? <laughs> Yes, actually, Jordan, I am excited. Thank you for asking. I'm really happy you asked me that. I'm happy I asked you that, too. <laughs> and I'm happy that we're all so excited and we're so ready for this eclipse. It's going to be fun. Just a little family gathering. Let's see. What time is it? 2.05. T minus nine minutes. nine minutes. Nine minutes until the moon starts to move across the sun. And then I can't do the math to see when the total eclipse is coming, but it's coming. Thank you guys for letting us uh, sit here with you guys. Yeah. More fun with more people, right? Yes. Oh, the, they're scared of snow, and yeah. Vermonters are scared of Oh, crowds. yeah, it's dark. Yes. People, guys, if we hear about people, yeah. we're not going anywhere. Pizza. We're hunkered down, so we're good. Kevin, to we're bring fine. your glasses. Yes, okay. Bottom right, I can see it. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's starting. Yeah. Yep. Oh my gosh. But then where are we going to see, see the yeah. shadow from? Because I would love to see like the sun yeah. and stuff, but which way uh, is that going to come? No, our daughter said that when it total clips, look for stars, if you yeah. can see actually stars. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm not sure. <laughs> and there's a, whatever I heard from you, her. <laughs> there's, a, there's a comet that might be visible. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. At, when it's totally, uh -huh. is it totally, is it the, the completely dark? Uh, no, it's really starting to No, I'll get it. Yeah, um, I feel like it's speeding up a little bit. We've got, I've got water. Like, 
Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Marina. Cheers. Oh, my God, Michael. That's too much. Spread the toilet. Why don't you put it right here? Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, yeah, here is to, to the sun. Astronomy. And the moon and all the celestial events. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. Jordan, would you like a glass of wine? No, I'm good. I'm all set. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. No, I'm good. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Determined to become one. What is that in the sky over there? The shadow cat cast by the chest. That's a good question. Is that black dot? Oh, what, is, what are you looking at? I wonder if it's a balloon. Oh, I see it. There is something over in the hot air balloon. Hot air balloon? But a, I don't think, not like one little person. <laughs> Why not? Well, because it's, I think it's, so, it's just black. If it's a weather balloon. far away to see. Could it be a weather balloon? In favor of what? Total so what's first? Five. Bailey Bailey's beads come first, and then diamonds. They said after. Yeah, they said. It, don't worry if you miss it on the way in, because you'll get it on the way out. No, I'm trying to get a look at that. What that is over there? Yeah, it's a balloon. A what? Balloon. Yeah, it's a balloon. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. I don't know what else it could be. Not the kind that has people off the bottom. No, yes. Yes, it's a hot air balloon with people on the bottom. That's what it looks like. It's the shape. Well, can you bring it closer? Does it have a basket underneath? I can't get it well, that close. I can just I can see the general shape of it. Well, that would be fun. Why didn't we think that? No. <laughs> you wanted to bring the Nautilus? Oh, my God. Can it be? Yeah, that's a hot air balloon. Oh. Wow, where is it? Wow. It's out there. It's a little black dot. See that black that's thing the over there? Oh my God, in the. So cool. Oh, yeah. When you zoom in, you, you can really see the shape wow. as clearly yeah. as possible. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Huh? You're really excited. It's, I'm it's excited. aliens. We're being <laughs> invaded. I was hoping. Yeah. I was excited. <laughs> yes. Definitely cool. That's the most I can I call Neil deGrasse Tyson. Okay, what time is it now? Oh, yeah, yeah. 3.16. Oh, yeah. It's cold, but I'll be fine. Ten more minutes. We've got a fire going over at Scott's. Okay. It is 3.18. All right, I'll bite. Sorry, dear. Oh, no, it's such a... Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's at least 95%. Yeah. 98. Yeah. I'm not I moving. I think it's still pretty bright out. Well, it, it is. It is. is. It is. So I wonder the light how, is definitely how changed, but it's brighter than change. I thought it was going like, to be so far. Like, Everybody wants to see, see the balloon? Yeah, thank you. I'm going to be disappointed if it looks like this when it's 100%. Yeah, I want to yeah. Dark. exactly. Uh, that would be weird darker. If it did, much Kevin darker will would be back. better. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I too. I wonder if it's because it's the light. <laughs> no, it's going to cover it. Oh, I'm just thinking one. that it looks like it's Gosh, bigger than the sun. So it's, it's steady, it's good. Steady. And I'll keep an eye on it. Thank you, dear. There, we should be able to see the corona around it in maybe five minutes. What time is it now? I don't know. I'm not taking my eyes off the eclipse. Okay, it's 326, right? So another six minutes. And it's definitely cooler. Yes. Oh, yeah. Aren't you freezing? I'm, I'm, it's chilly. I'm cold, but I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> We have jackets. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm good. I kind of want to feel <laughs> how cold it is. Feel the difference. Yeah. My legs want to feel how cold it gets. Not my top. If you start to see Bailey's beads, tell us. 
I will. What do they look like? It's like a little bit of light. Just, maybe like three lights. <laughs> On the lower <laughs> left or the upper right? Well, we'll find out if we see it. Huh. Yeah, can I hand this to you, Marina, so I don't uh -huh. break it? <laughs> Thank you. It's getting. You it's, can say see light all around it, even though there's. Yes, <laughs> that I is. It that looks hazy so all around. The 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 sun. Yeah. No, they're still yelling. Oh wow! We're we're not there yet. yet. I was expecting yeah. To see oh my God! It's so dark. This is ridiculous. Good crowd. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. They're okay, thrilling. I don't surprise. Yeah. I thought yeah. it was going to be like night. Well, it, it will be. Yeah. It, it, they said it's going to be yeah. like be dusk like when it's totality. So I think yeah. I'll have the glasses off so I can get the darkness. But don't look at it. You can't look no, at it no, until it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Either. Oh, it seems dark now all of a sudden. Holy wow. I think it might happen quickly. Yeah. Ooh. Caroline, you're gonna have to announce when. Oh. Don't 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 don't. They're playing with face off. Anything over there? That's awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, only a tiny sliver left. Yeah, very sliver. What time is it? 3.22. We got more time. Okay. Oh, that's four more minutes. <laughs> is it 3.26 something? <laughs> That's perfect. That's the music yeah. from 2000. Yeah. yeah. Jordan and Emily saw the movie the other night. I saw that oh, Have you seen the commercial? The takeoff on Hal? Oh, no. No. Where, I've seen the commercial. Where, where this woman is trying to, is about leaving her apartment. She's, and she's talking to Alexa or whatever it is. Oh, okay. And as she goes to open the door to get out, um, it says, I, sorry, I can't Exit. do that now. Oh. Yeah. And she turns back to it, and then she remembers that she's forgotten something, oh. and she thanks <laughs> that, uh, that artificial intelligence. <laughs> I think it's like, actually oh, this is changing a lot. But yes, it Thank was, you, Hal, for it's killing, it's it's killing yeah. everyone. Is this Holy coming? crap. Yeah, it's changing a lot. Okay. Oh, my God. Well, here we go. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. is so I think that's a confused seagull. Yeah. <laughs> you can see over here. Always? Over yeah. here, it's completely changed. Yeah. Boy, look yeah. at the, uh, uh, the how it became yeah. like dusk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, heck, some gulls. So it is coming from this direction. Okay, gulls, you look at that. Really dark. It's wow. time for you to be quiet <laughs> now. <laughs> I kind of want to like. I know, yeah. Wow. Holy cow. Why is it because there's light over there because it's maybe coming out already over there? No, it hasn't gone fully yet. It will at any second though. Or a minute. Yes, you are now. We don't have any time. Oh my god. What time is it? Oh, this is so cool. Oh my god. Uh, it's 3.25. I'm so glad someone else is so excited. I wish. <laughs> I wish. Look at the sunset over there. 
Oh, wow. oh my God. Where? Well, that's coming out already, right? Oh, yeah. Over yeah. there. No. That's daylight. Yeah, that looks yeah. like the calyptic. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. Right. Okay. Can we see Bailey's beads? We're get, nope. We're getting it's close. Not there yet. It's not fully there yet. Oh, still a little tadlet. Wow. Oh, my God. Tadlet. <laughs> it's still. Still a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little bit. Work. Okay. It's about to go. Huh. Wow. Look at this. Still oh my God! But it's moving. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh my God! It's gone. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Holy shit! Oh my! Oh my God! Can we look at that? Yes, you can look at it. Yes, you can look at that. Look at that star down there. You can see the stars. See that? Oh my God, there's stars. Yes, yes, yes. But it doesn't show this ball on the camera. Oh. Look at that. Oh my God. Look over there. No, I don't think so. Oh my God. I mean, look over there. Oh, look, there's no shadow. Look over there. Yeah, no shadow whatsoever. There's no sun. Oh. Wow. Uh, oh, God, it's a panorama. Like Just oh, a little bit. Look at that. Somebody light off the fire. And now it's leaking wow. out. <laughs> okay, here oh, they man. come. What's at what's what what 7 o'clock? What is at 7 o'clock right now? Uh, Either the start of Bailey's beads. No. And it's I think that thing at yeah, seven o'clock. Looks like there's yep. one bead there. Yep. yep. And we're can we look at that? Yes, yeah, you can look at that. But yeah, then over yeah. there too. Look at also red. look around. I see something, red. I see it's something on the sky. I see a bead on the And they are like seven o'clock. Yeah. 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 This here, you don't yeah. The same thing. No. Yeah. Oh my. Can anybody take a picture? Oh. <laughs> 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 Molly's freaking Molly. out. Molly's freaking out. I wonder if the dog's freaking out. Like grabbing out because of the fire. Like six thirty red dots. Yes. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> One of the beads, Carolyn. Could be. Is that red thing a bead? Like that six, that seven. would be my guess. Yeah. I think you can get the. Like just a second. I just want a moment. Oh, you can't really see it. You yeah. Really see just. It oh, just a minute. Wow. It'll start coming back. Oh my God. Oh. Yummy. Gorgeous. Emily, did your camera take? Uh, no, I, it's like, not picking it up. It doesn't we'll have to be. It it's not too good, yeah. 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 Now, the sunglasses help. Oh, you can't like even, yeah, it's still totality. You can't even see it with it's the been like, glasses. It's been like, uh, seems like a few minutes of totality. Yes, it was supposed to be three. three minutes, so it's going to be changing soon. And you can see it. Yeah. You can yeah, see I the lights see coming second, back. I see a second red spot. Yes. Yep. Oh, already. Yeah. Yep. I kind of missed spot. it. Yep, that would be them. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's oh, coming. Oh, oh, it's coming back. Put your glasses oh, back on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the diamond ring. What are the red spots from? Or what were they? Oh, my God. So these are oh, these are your oh, oh, the light. Where are your glasses? You have, you have Maybe you can all play the sun. Mom, do you yeah. need? Do you want to borrow she mine? No, she's got them. She got them. Okay. Yep. There we go. There we go. It's coming back. Wow. That was better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> no, it really was. I don't know what else you could do, you know? Wow. 
It was so dark. All that brightness just comes from that little bit. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, leaking out the bottom. Oh, Yo. Back to... Whew. Back to reality. Wow. Well. Yeah, something else. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And the seagulls did not stop crying. No. I made a mental note. Okay, I just wanted to warm up now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now I'm ready for my coat. I'm good now. One day more. Actually, we should be singing stars. Stars and their multitudes scarce to be counted filling the darkness with order and light and their multitudes they are the sentinels I don't know the rest of the words I don't either are we good? Yeah. we're rolling? we're rolling um I don't even I really don't even know where to start I just stopped crying <laughs> um uh, this, the eclipse is still going. We can still see it. Barely. Barely. It's yeah, a little it's bite taken away. out. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. It was a. It was a really. I think that that was one of the most unique experiences that we will ever experience in our entire life. Yeah, I would agree. I don't see how. I mean, that's such a. It's such a special, like, cosmic event that happens just for one second, and then you really, like, perceive how small you are in the universe, but also that you get to, like, be here for it. You get to perceive this amazing, like, scale, and also this very specific, like, uh, it's not coincidence, but this very specific thing that you get to be a part of, but it's also such a simple thing. You're just in a shadow. You're just yeah. in a shadow, but it's I, like... The world goes dark for three minutes, and I mean, but, you know, seeing... And, and you know, we were talking about this too, like, the fact that we got to see it here. Yeah. Where we live. At my family home. At his family home, you know, where his grandfather used to live, where his grandparents used to live. And... Our neighbors, who now live there, kindly let us... Uh, watch it with them so thankful for that i yeah. mean it was so special seeing the light just disappear over the lake like i mean it was yeah unreal really and you could sort of the edge of the shadow wasn't uh like crisp but you could see it coming over and then just in the middle of it you're basically surrounded on all sides by sunset um, and you can see the daylight all around, like uh, off in the mountains, but you're not experiencing it. And and you could see it like approaching and you could w see it leaving. And then in some ways for me, it was all like the, uh, I mean, the Corona was cool, but seeing what it did to the landscape yeah. was part of what was most magical about it. And we all lost our minds. Even I, I didn't realize how much we did until we reviewed that footage. Like, oh wow, I'll, we all like. Uh... We were definitely freaking out and losing our minds. But I mean, within reason. Like it was, I you know, it is so different to see pictures of it, see slideshows of it, presentations, videos, see other people react to it, than to see it yourself. Yeah. It's just it's completely different. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, it is. It got really cold. It did, did get really cold. I my thing on. I wanted to feel how cold it got. It got really cold. He had goosebumps all over his It was 60 degrees, and then it went down to, like, that was cold. Uh, we should have checked the temperature. We didn't do that. Yeah, um, but it was very cold. And, yeah. I mean, it was it was very dark, too. Like, I mean, yeah. it wasn't night. It wasn't, like, deep, dark night. But it was dark enough that it was, like... Mm. I mean, it was, like, it was... I mean, it was deep, dark night. The only Not light like there black. was, like, we couldn't, there was no shadows. No shadows. You could, the only light was from, like, the daylight that was around us in the shadow. That's where the light was from. But otherwise, it was, like, just night. And then it's amazing how little sun 
you need to peek out from around the moon like just the smallest tiniest once the it started moving away and just the tiniest little sliver comes back the it amount was... of daylight that that produces is pretty impressive like it's a like it comes back to like pretty much daylight like really really quickly with just a little tiny bit yeah and you know i just what do we got we still it's got i um i like I kind of said in my interview before, like I didn't do a lot of research. I didn't do a lot of prep. Like I saw one, re Bobby showed me one reaction video, which was hilarious. And I, I just, that was unlike anything that I was picturing and imagining. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know. I mean, I feel a little. Well, you described it as numb. I feel a little numb. Yeah. I feel a little like, um, it was such an intense like moment and I do I do feel a little numb and I feel like did I really fully get to fully experience it and I guess I did but that's part of part of the experience is I don't really know how to I don't know I don't really know how to even like process I mean I mean and I I also feel a similar way and I mean it was like if you think about it in like the timeline of your life it was like that like not even a snap yeah. And I, it's, it, it, it's also hard for me, it's hard for me to process, like, like you said, because it's just like, it was so fast and it was so beautiful and it was so cosmic. Celestial. It was celestial. Cel celestial. That it's like, it's hard for me to believe that I even experienced it and that it happened and then it's over now and it's almost it's like depressing it's sad mm -hmm. um but it was it's also like beautiful and like like we will literally never experience anything like that ever again unless we go chase the eclipse in 2044 which we might yeah but then that's you know it'll be a completely different experience yeah this particular thing where we got to see it at the family house that's like that's never happening again no and I just, at I do think, for us. no, and I think that we are so blessed that we were in the path, you know, where you yeah. grew up Yep. and, um, where I've had the pleasure of spending the last, I don't know, six years of my life, seven years. So, um, there's something else I was going to say about that. I, I don't know. I just, I. Oh, part of it was like, I feel like I was futzing around with the camera a little bit too much to try to get like a good shot. And then like, it's, then you like kind of regret. You're going to be happy that you got Those it. 30 seconds where I'm like trying to figure out autofocus versus manual focus you and took, trying to get the lake. You and, took those 30 seconds, but then what you did is you preserved something for the rest of your life. Yeah. So I think that was, uh, that was time well spent. Yeah, I agree. And I'm just, I'm really, really happy and lucky that I got to spend it with you. Yeah, I agree. I'm glad we did it together, hon. Mm. With the fam. With the fam. With we can't fam. get much better than that. We got to interview the fam. We, we do. See how they're they're up next. Yep. They have no choice. I love you. I love you too. Okay. Signing off. Signing off. Signing off. How did this affect Jordan the legislature? And Emily? How did how this did, affect democracy? Okay, that, that's a very important question because you asked me that before. Yeah, how did this affect the legislature? I think that the state house. I, I don't know. What do you think? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, over and out. <laughs> Carolyn, how was the eclipse experience for you? Unreal. I have been waiting for this for the past 35 years. Was it everything that you were expecting or more? More. But the ducks still quacked even though every other bird was silent. <laughs> I, um, do you think it was because they were confused or? That's that's what they say um they think it's nighttime so it's time to sleep so it's time to stop singing 
what did you think about so we had the pleasure to see it um at the lake what did you think about seeing the darkness kind of spread across the water i think it was more amazing than if watched anywhere else because we got an even bigger effect of the darkness so would you say this was one of the coolest experiences of your life 100 percent. i can't think of anything i've seen uh astronomically or um meteorologically it was just absolutely unreal and you were just saying you texted your friend who was in ohio did she see it similarly or was she in the path of totality or not yeah, she was in the path of totality. She said it was absolutely amazing. Anything else you want to add about about being able to experience this and what it was like? It was incredible. Even more incredible to have viewed it with my family and their friends and be on the lake. It was just amazing. I could not stop crying. <laughs> I also cried. I was in my interview with Jordan. I was like, okay, now that I've stopped crying, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I just, and the whole time I kept telling myself, this is not happening. This is not happening. And then totality came and I'm like, oh my God, it's happening. <laughs> it's, it's honestly, it's hard to process, really. Really is. I mean, even if you have even a little knowledge of astronomy, it's still hard to process. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you, Carolyn. I'm thank glad, I'm glad you were here to experience it with us. All right. Thank you. I was glad to experience it with you. So Betsy, we just experienced the eclipse. Um, how how did you like it? I liked it just fine. It, I felt that it took forever to get to totality. Yep. But when it did, it was just amazing how suddenly it just got so dark. But yet, to the south and up to the northeast, it was bright. It looked like sunset. And then the darkness in the middle, it was... I really hadn't known what it would be like, but it was quite exciting. Yeah, that's what I was, so that was going to be my next question. Was that what you were expecting? Was it better than you were expecting? I don't think I had any idea what I was expecting, <laughs> but it was, it was great. And how did you like being able to see it um, with family and over the lake? Oh, that, that made it a lot better. I, we were planning to just watch it on the lawn here, and I think we would have liked that, but it was extra special having the lake right there and seeing balloons on the other side of the lake those little black balloons which obviously had people under them yep. yeah and it was cool because like um we even saw a couple of stars mm -hmm. uh, i saw something red at the bottom now I, I, I think, was that one of the Bailey's beads or the diamonds ring effect? Something like I that, know, which it is... It was something special, and it was red. It was really special. And then the, down to the south, well, away from the moon, there was, I think it was a star. Mm -hmm. but, yep. but it was probably a planet. Well, that's, that's Because it too, planets are stars, right? It, it or, was so bright that... We think it might have been a planet. Mm. We don't know which one yeah. it was. Yeah, and they said there might be several that we would be able to see. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really loved it. Now, Mr. Frodo, you were inside during this ordeal. What did you think of it? <laughs> uh-huh, I see. And um, were you scared at all? That's fascinating. Now, anything else you'd like to add? He's busy making biscuits. We'll let him get back to work. Over and out. Toby, how was that experience for you, Maisie Bell? Toby and Maisie? What'd you think of that? They think that mom is in the kitchen 
They think that mom is in the kitchen and that they're going to get some food. Maisie Bell. Thoughts? Riveting. Toby. <laughs> Toby, were you scared? Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. All right, so now we're, we're here with Bob. And um, what did you think of the eclipse? Uh, I thought it was amazing. The to totality uh, was amazing. Before, I was getting kind of uh, bored, like, what's going on? Why isn't it getting dark? I thought it was going to be dark. What's going on? And then all of a sudden, especially over the lake, and the, you know, the lake was really cool as it was getting dark, just a little bit of light on the lake, seeing what might have been a planet, uh, you know, next to the moon was, uh, was very cool. Was it what you were expecting or a little different? Uh, I didn't, I, I honestly, I didn't have expectations about it. Um, you know, I thought it was, I was kind of impatient, like, okay, let's get on with this. Yeah. <laughs> but then when we had the totality and then afterwards the uh, little, uh, I don't know what they're called, beads or something, but they were different colors. Mm -hmm. Like red was one green or something, or? It was, it was very interesting. One yeah. was red. I don't know if one was, I, in the very quick aftermath, I was like, my brain was all over the place. And yeah. I was just like trying to process what I had just saw with the corona. But, uh, and then after the crescent that was, um, you know, sort of upside down, mm -hmm. was very cool too. So yeah, it was, you know. Now, compared to the partial eclipse you saw many years ago, was it similar? Uh, it was 100% better because I could look right at the... Yeah. <laughs> right. Instead of the pinhole. Oh, and the very cool part was our neighbors who were watching it we were playing the uh, 2001 Space Odyssey. So yeah, that was, that was very cool. Nicely timed. <laughs> <laughs> very much so. Well, thank you so much, Bob. Okay. Appreciate it. All right, so we're here with Shelly, and we just experienced a full, total solar eclipse. How, what did, how did you feel? Well, I was bored in the beginning a lot and thought, wow, this is not great. But then when it really hit, it was pretty powerful to see everything get dark and cold and to see the little um, dots of light and to see, I think it was a planet. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Um, I was more impressed than I thought I would be, really. So was it different than what you were expecting? Yes, it was different. It was different. I thought it would be darker, mm -hmm. but it was pretty dark. It really was pretty dark, but anyway, yeah. And how did you, um, how did you enjoy being able to see and experience that um, with family? That was great. I mean, we got to, it was family and it was friends and it was on the lake, which is the perfect place for it. So um, that was special. It's, a, it's one that's in a lifetime kind of thing that I'll remember ever. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Shelley. You're welcome, Emily.